As a new day dawns over the Kruger National Park, life unfolds. And a sense of peace prevails in this incredible wilderness. This is a place where all God's creatures are safe. Or are they? This troop of baboons has established its home along the banks of the Sabi River. Here they have access to enough food, water and shelter. They form a cohesive, well-guarded troop. And when gathered together, they are safe. Often danger is the last thing on their minds. But for one of these youngsters, life is about to change. A few members of the troop have been isolated by an attack and they've been split from the main group. They're in very real danger. They must seek safety in a tree because once up there, they can escape the danger. But the injured youngster is falling behind. If he doesn't make it, he may die. He must push himself. The biggest male in this isolated group will act as the troop's defense and will assume the position of sentinel. He will take the lead and call for the main troop. He must reunite with them as soon as possible. If these stragglers are to survive the many predators, all with hunger in their hearts. Most of the isolated troop have made it back to the main group. Although some of them have sustained serious injuries. Sadly, there is no sign of the youngster who was wounded by the unknown predator. A mother will mourn the loss of her youngster. The juvenile playgroup will be less one lively playmate. But life must go on for this intensely social troop and activities that ensure their survival must continue. Much like children, a young baboon will find its sense of taste provides a way to classify new experiences so everything they find will be tasted. The baboon's diet is largely made up of fruit and general vegetation, with the occasional treat of fish or smaller mammals and stolen eggs. Grooming forms a large part of the baboon's day. Youngsters are groomed by other females in the group. In this case, the groomer, a heavily pregnant female, is most likely an aunt. It strengthens bonds between members and may even earn the groomer special favors in times of need. Youngsters form strong bonds with each other while they frolic. Play is a vital process in growing up. Because it teaches the young baboons the skills and coordination to be used when foraging, and especially when eluding predators. Their interaction while they play also hints at what positions they may hold in troop hierarchies in the future. Females stay in the troop they were born into. They form the consistency of the social structure. While males may immigrate from one troop to another in the hope that they may ascend the social ranks. And so the cycle of life continues. Who knows which of these youngsters will make it to adulthood and which won't. But in nature everything is in perfect balance. What seems to us to be a tragedy is just another episode in the unfolding drama of life. I like the dark and think to myself What a wonderful